Good evening. I'm Chris Thomas. Thanks for joining us. Mike and Madison have the night off. We begin tonight with a new body camera video just released by Sacramento Police. This is from an officer involved shooting that happened last Tuesday. I want to warn you, some of the video may be hard to watch. Officers were heading to a complex near Ramona Avenue to collect surveillance video. This was for an investigation into 22 year old Jeremy Southern. There were reports that he did fight or gun in the air on the 15th. When officers arrived, they saw Southern with a woman and tried to contact him. That is when police say he pulled out a gun after they tried identifying themselves. Shots were fired when he refused to drop the gun. Take a look at what happens next. I'm going to take the shot. Back out. Back out. <laughs> please make it out. Please please make it out. Southern was hospitalized and later died. And while that investigation continues, ABC 10's Andy Judson is joining us now live at the Sacramento Police Department with reaction. Andy, this is all developing in just the last few hours. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. It's been nearly a week since Sacramento police shot and killed Jeremy Southern. Now today, police have released audio and video footage of that shooting. Police say that Southern was armed and was not compliant with officers when they demanded that he drop his weapon. We caught up with former Sacramento County Sheriff John McGinnis today to get his reaction to the footage. Jeremy, put your hands up! The final moments of Jeremy Southern's life were captured by police body cameras as well as witnesses recording. And a city council mandate of releasing that footage within 30 days of the shooting was fulfilled today in order to create more transparency and answer questions. One of those questions came from Southern's sister Ida, who ABC 10 spoke to last week as to why he was shot a second time by police. The first shot, if he had a loaded gun pointed at them, which it shows in video or in pictures, mm -hmm. then I can't get mad at the first shot because everybody knows if you point a gun at the cops, what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But the second shot should have never happened. My brother should still be alive till this day. Former Sacramento County Sheriff John McGinnis disagrees. The handgun is still within his reach. He's moving towards it or appears to be. Uh, you have to stop that. McGinnis says because Southern was suspected of another shooting, was non-compliant with officers, and was armed, he was a threat. They are very concerned for their own well-being. Uh, they're watching him as a threat to them, but they're also continuously and, and constantly distracted by their own efforts to keep the rest of the people in that area safe, direct people out of that area. McGinnis says the distance between the officers and Southern plays a role. So yes, one shot hits him, he's down, but he's absolutely a threat to the safety of people around him until he is stopped. And given their distance and the lack of uh, likelihood of being able to close that space on foot to get to him, I think their actions were 100% warranted. Following George Floyd's death, Sacramento Mayor Steinberg proposed new police reform initiatives. But McGinnis says given the past shooting police suspected Southern of, they needed to use force in this situation. Now, Sacramento police say that more footage of the shooting will be released as the investigation continues. In addition to their internal investigation, the district attorney will do an external investigation. That is what happens with every officer involved shooting in our area. Chris. Mm, ABC 10's Andy Judson reporting live for us tonight. Starting us off, Andy, we thank you.